Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. The new Coco scene debuted at Mickey's Phil Her Magic, so I wanted to come out and watch it, but also I wanted to come over to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and see the Christmas tree and the gingerbread house and possibly get ourselves a gingerbread shingle. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're gonna start out here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort because I have a friend that's staying here and then we're gonna hop on the monorail and go over to the Magic Kingdom after we see the Christmas tree in the gingerbread house. One of my favorite things to do during the holiday season is actually go around to all the different Disney resorts and check out the Christmas decorations, the trees, the gingerbread houses. It is always so fun and you can make like a non-park day out of it. Especially here at the Magic Kingdom, you can just board the monorail at TTC and just go around and visit all the resorts. But I do have to say, the Grand Floridian is so beautiful for the holiday season. Look at this. I love it. It's easily in my top three, and it'd be hard to actually put them in order, but I know for a fact it's probably either one or two. Top three definitely would be here at the Grand Floridian, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, and Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. All three of them during the holidays just hit you right in the feels, the Disney feels. Looks like we got Wes on the piano here, and we can just stare at the tree. So amazing. I love all the decorations. One of my favorite things about this tree is the 12 days of Christmas ornaments that they have on it. Like right here, five golden rings. Isn't it so nifty? And it actually goes all the way through and through up to 12. And I, like I said, I'm just always in awe because it's just so beautiful. Of course, the Christmas tree is big enough to draw people in, but the gingerbread house here at the Grand Floridian is such a long running tradition and I'm happy to see it back and hopefully we can buy a little gingerbread shingle because they're very delicious. Here it is. Take a look at the detail inside the gingerbread house. I love it. They've got Mickey and Minnie actually outside the window right here and then they've got Princess Tiana there right there i think up there is mr toad above that window as well and there's lots and lots of hidden mickeys all over it and i just love it and it's massive it's pretty big you know what i mean it's the size of this in a lobby of a resort looks like they have a whole bunch of different items like bakery items that you can buy including the gingerbread shingle so we're going to take a look see and see what they have this year it's always good stuff though they always make amazing uh desserts or little treats I like how they added the little 50th logo to the house this year and then they gave it a little 50th doormat and here is a little bit of a menu. Looks like we've got marshmallow lollipop for like $3, the ginger snap cookie for $5.50, a gingerbread man for $6.25, uh oh I'm not seeing a shingle, oh yep yeah, right there, a gingerbread shingle with dark chocolate for $9.50. Here they all are and this is the shingle. Do I just pick it up or do you take yes, it? Sir, you can grab oh, okay. Like. So I'll take a shingle. Thank you. Oop, and I'll take one of these. Yes. Oh, not two, but one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what are these? These are the chocolate brownies. Oh, wow. They look good. Two is enough. <laughs> oh, they do have some Aaron McHenry bacon uh, bakery items, though. That's really cool. They also have a gingerbread pin for 2021. And I think it opens up, too. I never know. Oh yeah, it does open up. Look at that. Bringing in the Mary. I like it. I got myself a gingerbread shingle and also I got a gingerbread Mickey uh, to send to my mom because I want her to try it. And uh, I think I'm going to try the shingle now, but I, I need like a coffee with it. Like I feel like a nice hot coffee with a nice soft uh, gingerbread shingle from the Grand Floridian sounds pretty amazing. I'm not too sure if the Enchanted Rose sells coffee, but it would be pretty nice to actually sit up there and drink some coffee and eat the gingerbread cookie. So maybe we'll scope out a spot there. Right here is a perfect spot to actually just sit down and have a coffee and a cookie. You can listen to the piano music and just stare out at the Grand Floridian Lobby. Look at that. Very pretty, isn't it? 
I couldn't get a coffee at the Enchanted Rose, so I decided to come out to the quick service, and I'll see if they have any holiday treats, but I already got some here, and I think these are the ones that technically are the holiday treats, but you never know what they have at Gasparilla's. Inside, it looks like they're celebrating Thanksgiving. They've got a couple Thanksgiving pumpkin cake pops here. Look at that, those are actually very festive, and some fall leaves as well. So it's nice that you have Thanksgiving on this side and then you can get all the Christmas and gingerbread over in the main lobby. Time to get some of that 50th anniversary blend coffee. Look at that. Perfect. Now we have made it back to our little spot outside of the Enchanted Rose. I've got my coffee, I've got my gingerbread shingle. Oh, and also, what do you guys think of my poor unfortunate soul's Roosevelt? Isn't that a cool shirt? I love seeing Ursula on there. It's very nifty. But anyway, back to business. Cookie, coffee, Christmas tree. Everything you need. There is one more thing that I could use, and that's Wes actually on the piano. It looks like he took a short break, and that would make it absolutely perfect. Just sitting here listening to the Wes and staring at the tree and enjoying the coffee and, I don't know, just loving life. These shingles are super soft. It's got like a milk chocolate on the bottom of it, but they are very, very soft, and the packaging is uh, pretty easy to like resill if you wanted to and try to open it up here. <gasps> Don't want to drop my shingle. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna have to tear. We're just gonna tear it. That's how we do it. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. That's the shingle right here. Isn't that so cool? Shingle. Should we break it in half? We're gonna break it in half. It's very soft. Look at that. <laughs> okay, now a little shingle, a little coffee. That is so good. Oh my lord. <laughs> I don't know why I love the gingerbread here at the Grand Floridian so much. Usually I'm not a big gingerbread fan, but I love getting it here and a couple of other places and it's just so delicious. And like I said, uh, I immediately knew I had to get a coffee with it because every time I've gotten it, I had a coffee with it and just tasting them both together and it's just, it's really, really good. <laughs> Just sitting here enjoying a coffee in the Grand Floridian is so amazing. Whether or not it be the holidays or not, I just love being here. I don't know why. I, I think it's the way the sun actually beams in to the lobby itself. It's just such a beautiful setting. Right now, like I said, it's a little bit quiet because there's no west or there's no piano music. But, like, it's just calming. It's very calming. But... I think we're gonna proceed to Magic Kingdom. So one last shot at the lobby here with the gingerbread house and the Christmas tree. And then we're gonna catch a monorail. It's beautiful, isn't it? I should have probably went and dropped my cookie off at my car and that way I can have it and it doesn't actually melt or break. So we're just gonna have to be very fragile. Fragile with the cookie. Looks like we got lucky monorail blue. This is my favorite mode of transportation at the Walt Disney World Resort. I just love it. Ooh, and we're gonna take the back cabin. Usually there's nobody in here. We might get it all to ourselves. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. And I just love it. I still get giddy every single time I come to the entrance. The music actually hits you and you're just like, yeah, I'm at the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it kind of sinks in as soon as you get here. Don't you love the music? Hopefully it's not that busy today. It's a Monday. It's a non uh, after hours day. So the park is open till nine o'clock tonight. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna kind of head right down Main Street and back to Mickey's Magic to see Coco. It actually looks really amazing today. The weather is perfect. I can go for another coffee, but I feel like that's too much caffeine. The colder it gets, like I think it's like in the 70s right now, the more coffee I actually want to drink because I just like having that warm feeling, uh, like not the hot feeling you would get here in Florida usually. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I love the holiday season at Magic Kingdom. 
before we actually make it over to Mickey's Philhar Magic, I wanted to stop and show you what is, I think, the most expensive ears ever made. And they just recently started selling them, and I think they have them here in stock. So we're gonna actually go see them, and it's gonna be cool to see that. You know what I mean? The most expensive ears ever? Right here they are. The Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Lux Logo Jeweled Ear Hat, $1,000. Isn't that amazing? And it's limited edition. It comes with a black dust bag and a decorative 50th commemorative box. So very fancy. Look at all the, the shininess on them. $1,000. I don't think that includes your annual pass discount. I don't think it counts towards this. Anything that's limited edition, uh, they really kind of restrict any discounts. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the $1,000 pair of ears. I mean, they are very pretty. I don't think I could ever afford them. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of people will actually buy them. And they'll probably sell out. Today, I think I'm actually going to go to the right of the castle. Instead of going through it, because we want to go right on over to Rick Mickey's Fill Our Magic. And isn't it so beautiful? Do you ever notice that door underneath the well? And how it kind of looks like so perfectly themed? I love it. I never noticed the door itself. I wonder what's underneath there. Like, what, what is under there? What's that door lead to? I'm sure it's probably just storage, or maybe there's nothing there. Maybe it's not even a door to anything. Maybe it's just, like, for display. But I just gotta know. I'm so fascinated. Here is a better look at it. It has a lock on it. It does have a lock on it, so there is definitely something underneath there. What is underneath the wishing well? Oh, you know what? I just pieced it all together. That's where they collect the coins to give to charity. Totally makes sense now. I'm glad I solved that mystery, but still, I would love to know what it looks like under there. Every year, Disney gathers up, or maybe it's like every other year, I'm not too sure, but they gather up all the change from like It's a Small World, the Wishing Wells, the Fountains, and the cast members vote for a charity that they give it to, and uh, that's probably what's under there. It's probably how they access all the coins from the Wishing Well. Isn't that kind of awesome? Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe there is something else under there. I don't know. I kind of just kind of put that together in my head But if you guys know something let me know in the comments and take a look at the Christmas decorations on Cinderella Castle I don't know if these are for the 50th or if they're new But I don't remember like the blue tied into it and you know the color blue is like a main part of the 50th anniversary But they are so beautiful like these little wreaths right here if these ever become like available to purchase, I would buy one. I mean, I have a lot of stuff. I have some ornaments from the tree here at Magic Kingdom, and uh, I'd love to get a Mickey wreath. That would be something amazing too. But having one of these bad boys, you never know. Honestly, the things that I have come across in my travels of finding Disney props and stuff like that And I love making those videos uh, You never know what you actually might find like I said I never thought in a million years I'd be able to have the opportunity to purchase a piece of Cinderella Castle But I did and like you know what I mean like it's always just like Amazing, you know, just seeing the history of things to some people. It's not really that cool But to me, I love Disney. It's like amazing to own a wreath from Cinderella Castle. Do you know what I mean? And here it is. It's time to head on to the kingdom's most magical musical review And I love the fill her magic. It's always been a favor for me. It says 30 minutes, but hopefully it's not that long I'm not gonna show you guys the whole entire show because it is like a 3D show But I do want to show you the Coco part because that's brand new and I got my glasses on and we'll see if we can get the 3D effect for the camera Sometimes I'm able to hold the glasses in front of the lens, but uh, if the uh, glasses don't fit well I don't think they do for this one. Uh, we'll just uh, show you it kind of in blurred 3D it's time to head on in. I usually let a big crowd in because I kind of want to be in the middle. And if you go in first, you have to slide all the way down. So usually let some people go in first and you'll be able to get yourself kind of in the middle of things. So that way all our friends can make They're actually inside. only asking you, you to go three quarters of the way down. So I think we're going to be uh, in good shape here. Right about here. Yeah, I'll take that. Here's where all that 4D comes from. You can see some water residue on there. They're gonna shoot some compressed air out of there. Some smells. It's all right here.
Okay, that was amazing. Not only did they add the new Coco show, but they updated all of it. Like, it is so crystal clear. I don't know if they added new screens or if they just updated the video or the film itself, but it was so amazing. The wind and all the other effects were very strong. And if you haven't been to see Mickey's Phil Her Magic in a while, definitely come out and check it out. Not only just for the Coco, but to also see it all updated and it was it was magical just as it should be i loved it i'm so excited i forgot that we were actually in daylight savings time and it keeps getting darker and darker out look at the moon right above the carousel right there isn't that pretty now that i'm wearing my new ursula shirt i kind of feel inspired to go ride the little mermaid i think it'd be fun you know what i mean since i got the ursula shirt on see some poor unfortunate souls Oh boy, this isn't a good sign right here. It looks like this is the entrance to the lightning lane for Seven Doors Mine Train. That is insane, right? It must be that backed up. So that is really interesting because now they're not paying for uh, Genie Plus. Like Seven Doors Mine Train does not count uh, on Genie Plus. So they bought those lightning lane passes outright. And I think it was $10 today. Not 100% sure. So you pay $10 for that. And it looks like the line is probably a good 30, 40 minutes. So you're, you're paying $10 to wait in 40 minute line. But now we have to see what the wait time is actually posted for standby. It looks like the standby wait time is 95 minutes. And there it goes. It also looks like the Little Mermaid, it kind of has a similar situation. This is the line for the Lightning Lane, right here to actually get in the Lightning Lane. And the standby wait time is 25 minutes. We're gonna actually go in the standby wait time and see how quick it actually goes through. It just seems like maybe everybody's coming right at the same exact moment and it might look just backed up, but maybe it actually goes pretty quick, but we'll find out. I mean, we'll find out for the standby. I'm not gonna find out for Lightning Lane because I'm not gonna buy it, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's really worth it today. I stand corrected. It's worth it today. Look at this. I have never seen the line all the way out here for <laughs> The Little Mermaid. This is intense. And I guess uh, we won't find out. I mean, I guess it's fair enough to just say that it's busy, but uh, I don't want to wait in that long line to ride Little Mermaid. It seems like a little bit like much. Like I was like, wow, I don't think I've ever seen such a long line. It said only 25 minutes, but when it's outside like that, that is definitely longer than 25 minutes. Honestly, I don't think there's anywhere we can avoid a long wait. Look at the teacups even too. Like that is... <laughs> It's just a busy day. Now, also, this is a very popular time to come to the Magic Kingdom because it's a non-after hours night. So this is the only time you get to be here later than usual. But this is very, very busy. I guess we were just lucky enough to come and not wait in line to do Coco. I mean, Mickey's Thrill Her Magic with Coco. And uh, I don't know, kind of seemed like a fun day anyway. Maybe I'll head back down to Main Street USA and kind of look at all the beautiful Christmas lights. I always like hanging out down there and then we got to make our way back over to the Grand Floridian. Look at the castle all lit up with the spotlights. That actually looks very beautiful from here. I've never noticed the angle like that. I can tell you what, it's definitely been in an adventurous day today. Got to do a lot of stuff, hop from the Grand Floridian over to the Magic Kingdom, had a gingerbread cookie and a little coffee. And overall, I just love these little excursions. 
now we get to walk down Main Street USA and stare at all the Christmas lights and just enjoy the holiday decor. You know, living my best life here in Orlando. I forgot that one thing we can look at is some of the holiday window displays on the Emporium. I haven't actually took a peek see of those yet. The Mickey Christmas Carol window displays. Isn't it so cool? It actually gives you like a whole narration right here. And I like how everything moves inside there. And I'll show you all of them. Well, as many as I can, but there's quite a few of them. Oh, look at this. I was so jealous that Disneyland actually got like the ghost Goofy because look at how cool he is. I know there's a little reflection, but that is awesome, isn't it? Marley's ghost. That's why I just said ghost Goofy, but that is so cool. I really wish they had like a character meet and greet with him over in Disneyland. Well, it was like a character sighting for their like merriest after hours event. I wish we got something like that here. Right here is another one, and you can see Scrooge McDuck. I think I'm gonna go home and watch the Christmas Carol. Like now I feel inspired. This one right here is one of my favorites because it has the ghost of Christmas present in there. And look at them, look at all the goods in there. They got lots of food, tons of stuff. And Scrooge McDuck is shaking in his bed. You can actually see it all shake. And then we have this one right here, and this is the ghost of Christmas future, and it's Pete. Look at him. He looks terrifying with his red eyes. That is so, so cool. R.I.P. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge. I feel like I probably could have just read all of the story to you, but it probably would have took an additional 25 minutes. So I'm just showing you guys real quick. And now I feel like I'm gonna go home and actually watch Mickey's Christmas Carol because I really love it and I am uh, super inspired. And then of course the ending with good old Tiny Tim. Look at him back there. So amazing. These are such well-crafted windows. And they're all lined up right here, going along in Parham, and then around the other side. And I guess with that, we might as well just call it a night. I got plans to go home and watch some Christmas movies now. And like I said, I had a great time just kind of coming and just hanging out and like a little mini adventure. Started at the Grand Floridian, had some coffee and a gingerbread cookie, got to stare at the tree, and then hopped over here, got to see the new Coco and Mickey's Full Our Magic, which is absolutely amazing. I highly suggest that you guys actually come out and see it if you haven't seen it in a while because it's like a brand new show. And and uh, yeah, just uh, got to stroll around Main Street USA looking at all the Christmas decorations. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.